Time for the touring one-shot challenge. Got the V8s, which should be a little bit fun. Although it is the all garb direction I'm not a huge fan of. But, at least we get to drive these cars, which are a lot of fun. They're very, very sensitive on the throttle, which is how the actual car is, so it makes sense. But you just have to be very careful on corner exits. And most of this track is corner exits that matter quite a bit. At the same time, it's also a car where the difference between three-quarter throttle and full throttle is very small. So you have to be really touchy with where you drop your throttle numbers to. That's not how I wanted to brake for that corner at all. <laughs> but I still made the corner, amazingly enough. Lock the brakes up big time. One of the benefits of not having tire wear for this car combo. But the lockups do not mean as much. I mean, you're still scrubbing time off, but it's just time. You're not losing future time, also. I guess it's just that you're not losing theoretical time. Not a terrible lap, considering the mistakes. I'll try and make this one better. Accelerating through that turn is pretty tough. Oh, I went a little too deep on the braking there. I have to get around that AI car. But that's an exceptionally slow turn, and an exceptionally slow transition anyway. It doesn't really cost much time, if anything. Like, realistically, if we can't catch the AI on straight away, that's one of the few turns that it's not too bad to catch them on. A little conservative this time there, just to be sure. And we can go much more aggressive on the last lap. Locking the tires a little bit on entry. And that's a big mistake. It's a very big mistake. So, we have to make sure our third lap is clean. So, I'm going to give myself quite a gap to that next car. As you can see, he's just now getting on the straightaway. The AI is very slow. Should be about halfway down the straightaway now. He's just entering the uh, first turn now. So we charge hard at the last turn and see what we can put together. Coming out of that, um, coming out of that hairpin was just completely my fault. It's just a really tough turn because you want to put the acceleration on really hard coming out. But especially with these cars, you just can't do that. Nice and tight through here. Scrub off a little extra speed. Great car and turn in for here. Again, you have to be very careful on acceleration. Cars want to go sideways. It's a little early on the brakes. Extremely detrimental. A little more aggressive here this time. Still pretty conservative, all things considered. Make sure we do not 
stop, repeat the mistake, so accelerate later, sacrifice a tiny bit of time, but we don't spin, so and not spinning is a little bit more important than shaving that extra time. So we do have the looks of a pretty good lap here. Just need to finish it off strong. That was a really good exit. I should have gone down a gear, but by the time I came through that corner, it was too late to make that decision, so I just stuck with fourth. So we did improve our time. Not enough to get platinum, but it was still a lap that felt good. Really close to platinum, though, so I'm happy with that.